Oh, g'day mates. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I won't bore you with a long introduction. Um, we're just gonna rip straight into it. Um, this is some footage that I've had for almost a year, actually. Uh, it's some footage of Esther, Mark and myself as we go up to the tippy top of the North Island of New Zealand and target some pack horse crayfish. Hope you enjoy. Okay, mate. Morning, yes. So we start the morning off uh, up in Hohora, which is about a 270k drive from Auckland. It's on the east side of the North Island of New Zealand. We set out in the morning from Hohora towards the North Cape. <laughs> Now our mission of this trip is to find some pack horse crayfish, uh, which didn't take long at all. So with my GoPro and one of my hands, I managed to dive down, start filming and snatch my first one. I'm bringing it back to the boat. I can see Mark and Esther have both got one as well. Where did you get Esther? Oh my god, so I was <laughs> Now this means the pressure is pretty much immediately off for us. We've got our target species. We've got exactly what we came here for. Now as I was swimming back to the boat, I did notice a John Dory on a weed line. So I grabbed the first gun I could see and headed back to the spot. These are one of my favourite fish, pretty much the coolest scientific name as well, they're called Zeus Faber. These are awesome, awesome eating fish and quite, quite fun to hunt as well. Back to the boat, I can see Esther's got her hands full of bugs and she's pointed out another one. Mark goes down and grabs another nice packy. It's sitting out in the open, which is awesome. Even a slow gal like me can grab a big packy. They're pretty big and they're kind of too big to wedge themselves in anywhere, so they're pretty easy picking. Esther's heading down for another good bug here. Now the daily catch limit for pack horse crayfish in this area is six per person per day, which is 
well six per person is a lot, probably too much. Now unlike the spiny rock lobster, which you measure the length of the pleopods on the tail, now it's 54 millimeters for male, 60 for female, you have to measure the length of the tail for pack horse crayfish. Now it's on the underside at the rear of the calcified bar on the first segment of the tip of the middle fan to the tail. So basically the length of the tail. Now the legal length is uh, 216 mils or just over eight and a half inches for those of you that are still stuck on the imperial system. Est has caught this monster crayfish, which has got its legs wrapped around her torso. So I go in to help. Well, I go in to think I'm helping. Turns out I'm more of a hindrance than a help. Uh, I start yanking this big thing off her, not realizing it actually has its claws through her neoprene and it's actually into her skin. So while she's methodically plucking its claws out, I'm sort of just yanking at this thing, being like, get off my friend, you bastard. <laughs> Esther's finally freed and she takes her bounty back to the boat. Uh, she's kind of riding it like some kind of crustacean sea scooter, which I'm, I'm actually quite a big fan of actually. Now by now my already quite holy gloves are looking shabby, my hands are wistful wear with a huge couple of uh, deep gouges in my thumb. So the only way forward for me uh, was to try left handed grabs. I'm gumby enough as it is, but um, something's got to give, right? With a couple of packies on board, we headed towards Cape Ranga for some spearfishing. Now Esther and I jump in on a boil up. We start targeting some trevally, which as you can see are absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Mark jumped in and plugged this epic 26 kilo kingfish, an absolute beauty. We had a quick visit from fisheries to make sure we weren't taking any more than our limit, which of course we weren't. Then we continued around to what's basically the north coast, uh, if you can call it that. It's actually called North Cape, a uh, very tippy top of the North Island of New Zealand.
and that's where Esther shoots to beautiful John Dory. On our way back to the campsite, we stopped by a wreck and I had a wee snorkel. So I jumped into the surface wreck, but that current is just humming. So I'm going to try and try and make it to the next one, which is just out here. Not much there apart from some current that was absolutely hussing, uh, some parori or black bream as some people call them. Esther got her drone out and we got some awesome shots and then we stopped by this beautiful bay for a swim. Clear, beautiful, warm, epic summer day. There we are. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, less of, what I can do better. Uh, I'm actually still surprised I've got hair after I was pulling it out trying to work out how to use Final Cut Pro. Uh, it's not the program's fault, it's just that I'm a bit computer illiterate. Um, but yeah, do let me know and if you want to see more, subscribe. Until then, cheers mate! <laughs>